So I'm here with our chair uh, for Starting Point, Matt Griffith. What happened at Starting Point this weekend, or um, this week? Yeah. So Starting Point, as you know, meets the first Tuesday of every month at Chance yeah. at Keystone. Uh -huh. And uh, we meet 7.30 that morning every month. We'll be there next month. Yeah. So we did an activity I thought would be helpful for other chairs and rainmakers in general. Mm -hmm. We did rock, paper, and scissors. Okay. Uh, you know, the bold one, two, yeah, three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. yeah. And what we did is we divided everyone into the room, uh, divided them up, and they had to challenge someone else to rock, paper, scissors. The folks that lost then had to become fans and supporters of the winners. Okay. And then they went and challenged someone, and they went and challenged someone until we got down to two, two people. Two people, okay. Right. And then, so we had half the room cheering for one guy and half the room cheering for another. Fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And then someone was uh, crowned the champ of rock, paper, and scissors. Okay. Okay, rock, paper, and, and scissors is a fun game, but... That's not the point. The point of it was to demonstrate that we all need cheerleaders. Amen. And more importantly, we all need to cheer for someone else. Yeah. So you gotta get behind somebody and support them. And what you find is, givers gain, be more, serve more. When you find people to support and nurture and mentor and you help them grow their business and you help them develop professionally and personally, it comes back to you a hundredfold. Mm -hmm. So we all need to go find our cheerleaders, our core cheerleaders, and we need to find people to cheer for. And mm -hmm. that's how business is done these days. I, I, um, I had a really cool week in that um, uh, I, I uh, wrote this phrase on the board, uh, leaders build leaders. And, and um, it re I had a CEO group that got together. We meet every, uh, do breakfast, usually two hours kind of talk about our issues, hold each other accountable, get to the next level. And um, one of, uh, we got in some banner about roles and, and what, what was a CEO's job, what was a, what was a leader's job, you know, where, where, did, where, where do you bring other people in? And in the, the, we really started defining leadership. And um, someone said this in, the, in that CEO group, and it was so, it was so um, rainmaker-ish, right? You know, it's like, um, um, as I've evolved in my role and brought on a Nikki and a Chris Reed and, and, and Amy's and all these people have come into the association, one of the things that I've learned that our job is to do is to find leaders or to find people who want to be leaders or don't want to be leaders, quite honestly, that, right. that don't even know that they, they, they need the, the, to be a leader and show them how and why and the benefit of it. And, 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 and to build them up. I, that's that's so, um, so much what I'm getting my head around uh, of where we're going as an association is to find and build leaders. I mean, you, we gotta do it. This country needs them. We need them in the business community. We all need, to, we all need each other. We, and leaders recognize that. That's why they bring people together. That's right. And there's a, there are a lot of natural leaders out there, mm -hmm. but there are also people that have natural talent, mm -hmm. and they just need somebody to foster that, mentor that, and develop that, and they become leaders. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, you know, there's many ways to lead, mm -hmm. right? The best way to lead is, you know, by example, and do good work mm -hmm. and help people out. And it's, it's amazing how productive um, that is as a business venture if you just lead. Yeah. The, the, the last thing I, I'd want everybody to hear about leadership that, that uh, Larry, Kevin, and I have been talking about every day, and, and, and really what I'm, I'm hoping uh, that my accountability group and, and, and you and every member out there holds us accountable to, is the two things that you gotta do to be a transformational leader is that you gotta be um, incredibly demanding and incredibly caring. And, and tough love, I call it. Yeah, I, I mean, and, and that's just that is just that it comes home to me every. You know, we ask a lot of people. We ask a lot of our chairs. We ask a lot of uh, of of what the time and energy they, they have to do a lot for their hubs. They do a lot for their boards. They do a lot. Being a leader is a lot of work. Let's just get over that. It's right? a lot of work. It is a lot of work, and that's it, why not everyone is a leader. That's exactly it. But but the rewards are great. It, there, the, the, there's there, there's a reason CEOs make the kind of money they make. There's a reason the, that 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 the kind of the, the pressure goes along with the tab, so to speak. And 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 I think what we've got to get our head around is that 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 th we need leaders. This country needs leadership. Uh, in, a, in a way that we've never seen before. And I've got, there's a lot of people looking around hoping somebody else will pick up the ball instead of just grabbing the ball. And, 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 and then, so if you are somebody who's grabbed the ball, right, I think you need to understand that you need to surround yourself with people that are gonna build you. 
Yeah, it, it won't be Congress that gets us out of this recession. Mm -mm. It'll be business leaders. Mm -hmm. and, the, and business leadership at all levels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you said it. It's business that's going to get us out of this yeah, situation, and it's and it, quite honestly, it's small business that's going to that lead us out of this. It's over half the economy. And we got so we got to band together. We got to take care of each other. We got to recognize as leaders, we need each other, and we got to build each other. And that's really what uh, be more, serve more is all about. 